7 a.m. to 1 p.m. each and every Saturday at 91.1 The Boss. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss radio station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Are you great with people? Do you have professional experience? 91.1 The Boss wants to interview you as a sponsorship promoter. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. The program presented are submitted by members of our community and are a proud sponsor of KNY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNY 91.1 FM and its affiliates. Daily Buzz Radio Show dot com, RadioBoss.com, Tressa Ray. What's up? Good morning, guys. Tressa Ray. <laughs> Tressa, you know, I, I tell you, I've never been associated with anybody as popular as you. Okay, maybe I'm a sure few people. I'm sure that's not true. I'm yeah, okay, sure maybe that's I told not the true. I told the first lie of the day right there. Okay, maybe the second. <laughs> anyway, that's, we, we got attorney. We'll consult later on that one. Okay. Yeah, we're, <laughs> well, we're going to have to. Now, Tressa Ray, you got a lot going on. I do. Talk to I us. Do I do? I do. Talk to us. All right, so let's start off with tomorrow. Go. So tomorrow in Conroe, they are going to have their Christmas parade. It is going to start at 11 a.m., and it's going to start at 505 West Dallas Street. Woo, parade. So that's going to be in, in be Conroe. Uh, hopefully, Hurricanes and hopefully tornadoes. It off. And there's no, I don't think there's any. It don't any, happen in Conroe? No. Yeah, uh, Tressa Ray said that about me. Aftermath, but they're yeah, not, yeah. there's... There's not supposed to be any tornadoes or hurricanes tomorrow, so but okay, there is supposed to be a little bit of rain. Weather hopefully, girl said no. Hopefully, it'll hold off until after the parade. Okay. Um, in other news, yes. Uh, also going on in Conroe, the Sandlot Kids are coming on ah. Sunday to RNA Sports. They are going to have small squints and repeat, and I am so excited. Small we will be there. We will be broadcasting squints? live. That's the name, squints. 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 Like squints. And repeat. Like squint. Yeah. Repeat. Is that because they had a child and said, oh, I'll stretch it and repeat? I mean, how do you get a name like repeat? It's the Sandlot Kids. Okay, really looking forward to that one. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, Enchanted Forest at Glade Arts Foundation has started. Get your tickets, gladeartsfoundation.org. They are $35 a piece. Children under four are free. Um, if you bring an unwrapped toy for Toys for Tots, you, they give you 25% off on your ticket purchase. Wow, that is cool. Yes. Okay, that's a lot going on. Also, let's talk about something there real quickly, Tress Ray. We have several sponsors for this show, and we're very, very happy with our sponsors. We've had a couple of new sponsors I'm going to talk about. We have Black House Lounge and Cigars in Old Town Spring. They're just wonderful people. If you just happen to be passing through the Old Town Spring area over there, drop in and say hi to Brad. If you drop Tress's name, what do they get? Um... A big handshake from Brad. Big okay. old high five. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have no, any. but I am looking forward to the uh, creme brulee uh, you smoke cigar. A cigar? Would I you go in there and smoke a full cigar yes. without throwing up? Yes. You would? Yes. They're pretty smooth, though. That's why I think you can handle it. Yeah. So from what, from what I've heard about his cigars, I'm pretty sure that it would be a lot of fun. Especially, like, you, I think it's really interesting. Um, he, did a, he did a Facebook Live mm -hmm. thing the other day. Yeah. And um, he showed people the lockers that he has. Yeah. Because it is 20. It's open 24-7. 24-7. If you're a member. You can't and, go to sleep in there, he said, but how would he know? But in your locker, you can keep a bottle of, of whiskey or scotch yeah. or, you know, whatever. And you would go in there and, because and, and, it takes like an hour sometimes to wolf down a cigar. Mm -hmm. You would go in there and stow you up a cigar? I'll, I mean, I've never done it before, but uh, I, I'll do it. We have a challenge here. I'll the do Tressa it. Ray Stogie Cigar Challenge. Okay, that's uh, Black House Lounge Cigars, Old Town Spring. Also, RNA Sports in Conroe. Richard Mendenhall, he was here at the show yesterday to talk about everything. That's actually the event you have Sunday with the Sandlot Boys, right? San, well, Sandlot Kids. Sandlot boy, they, Kids they who are grown men boys, today. So. 
And if you stand next to it at Walmart, would you recognize them? Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. And then also they have Rudy Rudy Tom Jonovitz there tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Uh, Rudy Tom Jonovitz, of course, y'all remember the Rockets days, man, the parade, Rockets, Rudy was right on top of the fire trucks. Rudy's flying in from California to be at RNA Sports tomorrow. Richard Mendenhall, we just so happy to be associated with these guys. So if you would like to be a sponsor on this little bitty show, get hold of us. (laughs) RadioTheBoss.com is one way, and TheBuzzRadioShow.com, right? Yes. Trust that the way. Guess correct. what we're going to do today? Um, Jeez, you really going to guess, huh? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I looked in the fridge and there is no there's, there's no uh, bottle of scotch or whiskey. So. No, but you did mention something that I want to do a shout out to you, Dr. V. Oh, yes. The owner of this we radio have... station, Dr. Vargas, he is actually had his birthday, so we want to say congratulations to Dr. Vargas for having another birthday. Very busy surgeon, though, and we very much respect the man. So, yes. we Happy did our shout outs. Here's what to we're going to do. We're going to talk legal stuff here today. We have Brad Leia with Leia Law Firm in studio with us. We're going to take a very, very short commercial break. When we come back, uh, you have to pay attention because if you've ever been involved <laughs> in a lawsuit as far as a car wreck, personal injury, we're going to talk about all the different classifications and what you should do about it. Right, Tress Ray? Right. So what we should do? I mean, call Brad. No, go to break so we can talk to him. We'll, go oh. to break. <laughs> we'll be right back. Don't change that dial. We will be right back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Do you want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Buzz. We are interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. Watch us live on our social media. Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope at KNLY 91.1 FM. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Mixing genres and generations. All in one station. 91.1 FM The Boss. Are you great with people? Do you have professional experience? 91.1 The Boss wants to interview you as a sponsorship promoter. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. This is E.L. Crane of Real Estate U here each and every Saturday, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on 91.1 FM The Boss. Remember, that's Real Estate U. Insightful, informative, and a little humor tossed in. Real Estate U, listening live, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. each and every Saturday at 91.1 The Boss. We're back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Welcome back, Daily Buzz Radio Show. Daily Buzz Radio Show.com, boss.com Tressa Ray, who we got in the house mm-hmm. today? Well, I apparently butchered his name yesterday, yes, you did. which I feel really bad about. I am so sorry. I've been called worse. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! This is Brad. If you want to say your last Brad name, Brad Lee. It's Lee. It's Lee. Oh, oh so I did it right. Boom, oh, baby! I Boom! Did. I murder. did not murder his name. You did it. Oh. I was right again. Just saying. Wow! You've been wow. right too too often here lately. Wow! Brad what a warm Lee. Reception. All right, Brad Lee. Brad, See, I know I for a while. You always let me say Leah. Uh, uh, well, I'm, Sydney, I just I, I try and get you out of my office. <laughs> 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 Whatever name you want to call me, yeah. Get her. <laughs> Let's get it over with. Like you said, he's been called worse. Uh, so. Bradley Lee Law Firm. Brad, now tell us the, the type of law you practice, a little bit about your practice. We, uh, it's the Lee Law Firm. That's L-E-I-G-H. And uh, we're a personal injury civil litigation firm. Uh, basically, if you've been wronged or hurt physically or financially mm-hmm. by someone else, mm-hmm. we'll stand with you and fight. So that's everything from personal injury to business disputes, breach of contract, tortious interference, stuff mm-hmm. like that. And you guys are actually up here on the feeder road of 45 and Rayford. Uh, hard to miss. Us. Yeah, hard to miss. That's the Lee Building, uh, right past Ashley Furniture. If you're heading up the feeder road past uh, Woodlands Parkway, heading towards Rayford Sawdust, we're there on the right. Now, let, let's mm-hmm. talk about Tressa for a minute because Tressa's driving is terrible. But let's I've heard say, um, that's the word on the street. I've, yeah. <laughs> let's just say, Steer Brad, clear. this one particular day, she's actually a law abiding citizen driving good. Okay. You know, every day, there's seven days a week. It could happen. A few, it could happen. <laughs> and let's just say somebody just plows I'm an into driver. her. Just so, I bet you are. Yeah. Somebody just plows into her. What's the, and she's injured. 
what should she do? Well, obviously, if it's at night and, and you can drive, you want to get to a, and it's a lonely stretch of road, get to a place that's well lit. Just for, you know, I, t- I tell that to my daughters mm-hmm. and, and friends. If you're a single woman or, or a guy, just be, be safe. But you definitely want to call the police. Have them come out. Uh, regardless of how severe the accident is, whether or not you're feeling any pain at the time. You know, at the time of the accident, your adrenaline's pumping. Uh, mm-hmm. You're kind of wanting to just get out of there. Mm-hmm. But uh, I hear it all the time. People get in an accident, the next day or two, the mm-hmm. symptoms start to onset. They start getting sore. Mm-hmm. We send them in for MRIs. Lo and behold, they've got herniated discs or other issues that, that need treatment. And uh, if you leave without the police coming, it's going to be a he said, she said, or he said, he said, she no. said, she hmm. So have the police come out. Make sure you get all the information and notify your insurance company and give me a call so oh here we go now that my adrenaline has calmed down from uh, us doing the uh, <laughs> fast go-karts the other day That's I, like was, I was i was t-boned hello on the track <laughs> uh-uh. by mr sydney young uh-uh. well here's the situation there was a negligent driver in front of me <laughs> and uh, uh look we're not going to talk about all the details okay? i wouldn't even charge you to go after sydney <laughs> Yeah. If it needs a case. I don't know. Here, you like get fun. a pin. There you go. There you go. That, but that, that brings up a point. We don't bill anybody. We only, we, I say we live off the kill. We only get paid when we win. Right. So you come to us. We don't charge you anything up front. You'll uh-huh. never get a bill from us if we lose. Uh, we got a great team of doctors we can get you into. You don't have to come out of pocket for, for treatment. Um, but, uh, no, I'd be happy to, happy to <laughs> light his <laughs> ass up in the courtroom. Yeah. I'm going to need, I'm gonna need <laughs> some help now. Hey, Katie, not from Katie, is watching us here today. Katie, you there. said her name right. See, I've been bitching her I am her so proud. You know, we, I just had dinner with Katie last night. Did you? Did you pay her, Katie? We, of course, we, Katie we paid. Split, we, yeah. we split everything. Yeah, don't don't look, worry about let's that. Let's get Katie call in and verify that story. <laughs> I mean, you should have paid as is much Sid, as you butchered her Sid, name. Is Sydney really talking about picking up a bill at a restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> you got, well, <laughs> I pick them up for tax purposes all yeah, the time. Right? Go, look at those you receipts. Go. Oh, my you goodness. <laughs> hey, Brad, okay. Yeah. Now, you guys, uh, you do more than just car wrecks. That's right. Uh, you name it. We uh, Anything that falls under that, that personal injury umbrella, uh, uh, premises liability cases, mm-hmm. uh, trip and falls, slip and falls, construction accidents, uh, offshore falls. injuries. Is that really something that one of the cameras there were today, they can't fake that, can they? Well, you know, it, they're, they're tough cases. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not enough that there's a mess. Let's say you're in the grocery store and mm-hmm. you slip in some pudding. Yeah. Uh, it's not enough that there's a mess. And, and under Texas law, you've got you've to be able to establish that the mm-hmm. store uh, or the store employees knew or should have known that 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 spill or dangerous condition existed. So, you know, people have an idea that, you know, these cases are all slam dunks. They're really not. It takes a lot of hard work, and you really need a lawyer that, that knows what he's doing. You know, you guys have to probably screen quite a few cases to get one and say, this one we want to take. Oh, we turn down a lot more than we take, absolutely. Really? Yeah, no, we've uh, we got to have a good bad guy that we can go after. Yeah. Uh, there's got to be some uh, some funds, either mm-hmm. in insurance coverage or, 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 or mm-hmm. otherwise. And we got to like and believe in the client. So that's very important to us. Ultimately, if we've got to go, up, uh, go down to the courthouse, mm-hmm. I want to sit next to and stand next to a family or a uh, or an individual that right. uh, um, I feel uh, uh, justified in standing next to and confident right. in. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You know, it, 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 you always see on TV the 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 live reality thing where the show guy slips and falls and sets it up, and the store employee comes over. I mean, I, I, you, you see a lot of these fraud cases that they try sure. to get compensation for. You know? Sure. Uh, those, those, for the most part, won't see the light of the courtroom. There's, yeah. a, there's a process by which uh, BS cases get disposed of. And uh, by the time a case actually gets to trial, if it gets to trial, it probably has some merit. Uh, oh, okay. But uh, but Montgomery County's tough. Juries in Montgomery County are don't are, are, are tough to deal with. They, really? Uh, they don't award. You don't see the same ju- verdicts coming out of Montgomery County as you do the surrounding counties. Wow. And, uh, but uh, you, you know, know it, it, we is. talked prior to you coming on the show. Remember, we were talking about all the uh, some of the the crazy case you've taken on. Some oh, of the, the people you've done. What sticks out in your head when I say crazy case? Crazy cases that we've taken and run with, uh, boy, I can think of a bunch. We had a we had a, a guy who I considered a hero that was in a Kroger's. There was a rash mm-hmm. of in-store, you know, the banks that are inside of the grocery stores. You walk oh, yeah, in, yeah, and yeah. there'll be a little bank to your right. A little kiosk thing there. A little kiosk deal. They had had about, if my memory is correct, about 20 plus or minus uh, in-store Kroger's bank robberies leading up to this event. My guy was in there waiting in line at the bank right when the bank opened, 9 in the morning. And some guys ran into the store with shotguns and pistols, two or three guys. And 
he started tangling Is with he a one big of, guy. Not that big, but uh, you know, big big cojones. That's for sure. <laughs> he, uh, he ended up. He, he had some cojones. He, they, they fell over store displays. He wrestled the shotgun away from one of the bad guys. The other guy split. He dry fired at the at the the, the last guy and. Uh, Kroger's in the wake of those twenty robberies leading up to this hadn't done anything to ramp up security. Oh, and oh wow! So that that's one one kind of oddball, kind of strange case. But we've seen it all over the last twenty Man, years. Man, so. I'll you. Okay, yeah. let's do some quick shout so. here. Katie's still with us. Eva, Eva, Eva. That's, that's your mother. Eva signs. He's, Poor Sydney. He's thank always, you. He's thank you, Eva. always getting my mother's you know, name wrong. Do you always. have your mother's uh, your cousin? Do okay. you have any non family Eva. members on here? They're not. Katie's, I mean, well, Katie is considered family. Yes, I she will is. consider Katie family. Yeah, I she's, consider her family, family, too. I, I do, too. Yes. I'm not buying dinner for Hi, her, Katie. Her Hi, Carly. Hi, Mom. <laughs> See, boy, there's our listeners. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, so, Tressa Ray, if you had to seek out an attorney, from your opinion, because this is where our generational gaps would come into play here, mm -hmm. what do you think you would look for in a qualified attorney to handle your personal injury case? Um, well, I think that he kind of said it himself. Mm -hmm. Like, he is not going to represent somebody that he does not believe in. Mm -hmm. And I don't want anybody representing me that I don't believe in. Okay. So... Right. And so you, you. If uh, I don't trust and 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 think that he's the best man for the job, then why would I pick him? Hey, let's let's add, let's find out from Brad himself. What are some the things people should look for when they seek out for an attorney? Uh, that's a great question. One, uh, experience. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of guys that you'll see stomping up and down on TV. So, you know, the sledgehammer, the 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 human I love torch. That guy. I mean, I, 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 it seems to get more <laughs> and more outrageous. Don't, don't want to call out more anybody. More but, you know. A lot of these guys that jump up and down and scream are not trial lawyers okay oh, really? they're they're a name and a phone number and they're a big marketing machine and they end up referring cases to guys like me I was gonna say do you actually uh, have them working a case for you, abs you uh, some of the big names that uh, without mentioning them that you guys know i've i get they refer me cases so really? so the first question you ask is do you try cases yeah how many cases have you tried oh. how many cases have you lost how many cases are you handling currently how many you know what kind of staff support what can i expect in terms of you corresponding with me and mm -hmm. updating me and mm -hmm. being responsive to my case update inquiries Mm -hmm. And unless you get a good feel, and be sure you do that in person, look them in the eye and see if they pass mm -hmm. the smell test. Um, there, I mean, there's lawyers are just like anything else. There's good ones and there's bad ones. And um, so take your time because it's an important decision, especially when uh, you know either lives have been lost or lives have been changed permanently. Mm -hmm. you, it's uh, it's a very important decision. Now I have a question for you: Do you want an attorney that goes to to uh, to trial pretty often, or do you want an attorney that can negotiate a well, deal? Well, sure. No, you know the, the 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 best deals get negotiated because they know at the end of the day you can try a case, mm -hmm. and they say prepare for oh. trial, cases settle; prepare for settlement, cases go to trial. So, um, you know, from the day one, we're working towards trial. Mm -hmm. And the vast majority of our cases settle somewhere along the road. Um, some folks, um, uh, some cases don't. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we like that. We're, we're very comfortable in the courtroom, and that's that's where we shine. You so. know, I think there's a misconception out there, and I think you'll, you'll probably understand why I'm going with this. Because you see the commercial on TV, the, uh, the, the attorneys are screaming, yelling about personal injury cases, mm -hmm. and it says, settle, this guy got 200000 this guy got 300000 this guy got 100 something yeah. And so they see it instantly. And so they come see a personal injury. How long do you think the average personal injury case for all the acts, how long do you think it takes to get to a settlement or um, a disposition? I mean, I've, I've never been involved in mm -hmm. one, but I have had friends and stuff, and it takes years sometimes. Oh, okay. You understand that. Yeah, it, 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 it takes years. Yeah. Which it, it can. Um, you know, on the low end, four, five, six months. I mean, look, until mm -hmm. our client is, is, is through treatment, sure. we know what the bills are, we know mm -hmm. what their injuries are and what mm -hmm. they aren't. We're not in a position to have an intelligent discussion with uh, the other side about what the value of that case is. Mm -hmm. So getting back to another thing, when you go to an initial meeting with a lawyer, mm -hmm. if that lawyer tells you, I can get you 50 grand or I can get you 100 grand, run as fast as you can. We, we will never never tell a client on day one what we think we can get that client that's just not fair to them it's right. a misrepresentation and i don't think it's ethical all right. we all we promise them is that we'll bust our hump to do the very best we can now do you have clients come and say hey you know because of this i can't work that and the other can your your law firm pay me during this process I think there's a big misconception about you that. You know, uh, we try and stay away from client advances. Um, mm -hmm. There have been times where, where uh, 
folks need help mm -hmm. kind of getting through and, and uh, but we, we try and stay away from that because yeah. again you're counting chickens that haven't hatched and, right. and the reality is regardless of a case life still goes on mm -hmm. and so we always encourage our clients I don't tell them hey if you can work stay home act like you can't work get back to work right. you know, carry on with your life we'll do the best we can with this I mean do what the doctors tell you to do mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but uh, by no means do you sit back and, and, and wait on a case to come through just you know cool. well trust Ray you know what we're going to do right we're going to take a break, and we'll come right back. We'll come back with Bradley Lee, not Lee. Lee, L-E-I-G-H, but pronounced Lee. It's not one one word. It's not Brad Lee. It's Brad Lee. There you go. Brad Lee, L-E-I-G-H, right, Brad? It's, well, it was Bradford. Hey, Mom, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, I go by Brad, and the last name's Lee. You got it. There we Brad go. Lee with Lee Lay uh, Law Firm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get out of it. Lee it's Law Firm easy. here Lee. in the Woodlands. We'll be right back. Do not go away. Trust Ray's here. Hey, don't change that dial. We will be right back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Do you want to make your college experience different? Become an intern with 91.1 The Vibe. We are interviewing interns today. Contact us at 713-370-5051. Watch us live on our social media. Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope at KNLY 91.1 FM. Mixing genres and generations all in one station. 91.1 FM The Ball. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Are you great with people? Do you have professional experience? 91.1 The Boss wants to interview you as a sponsorship promoter. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. With the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Hey guys, welcome back. As you just heard, that was me welcoming you back. <laughs> so who's welcome? <laughs> We're all welcome. All right. Yes, everybody's welcome. We are still here with Brad Lee. Lee. Brad Lee with Lee Law Firm. That's right. Lee Law Firm <laughs> here in the Woodlands, Texas. Now, Brad, we were talking about a lot of different things, but let's talk about your background. Where? Yeah. How, how did you get? In the law field, and where have you been? Okay. Uh, well, been in the woodlands pretty much all my life. Yeah. Dad got out of the Marine Corps, settled the family in Houston. Uh, by 74, we were in the woodlands. Population of the woodlands was 400 people. Oh, my God. Uh, went to wow. McCullough High School, graduated in 92. Uh, wow. College, law school. Uh, did my first 10 years out of law school with uh, a, a legendary Texas lawyer named John O'Quinn. You John may have heard of him. Yep. Um, and wow. uh, learned a Huge. lot from him, big time, big time. I argued, I think the greatest you straight trial out of law I've school to his practice. He he brought me in straight out of law school. How sure did you did. accomplish that? Well, um, told him I'd work for free. I, I did at my initial interview. Uh, I, I told him I, this is where I want to be, and I'll work for free. And uh, and he was generous enough to pay me fourteen dollars an hour starting out out of law school. Oh my god! And and I jumped on it and um, and had uh, ten amazing years uh, trying cases with John. Uh, consider him one of my great friends in my life, and and miss him every day. Wow, yeah. you, you're just truly amazing man. You probably you probably don't know Johnny Quinn, do you? Yeah. Oh, Quinn, I'm sorry. He was a legendary attorney. He died, unfortunately, a few years back in a car wreck on a rainy day on Allen Parkway down there. That's right. He and, he and his driver. Uh, yeah. yeah. They lost control and hit a tree over there. But uh, just a legendary man. To have that experience is rare, man. Yeah, it was it was crazy. But three months before he died, I actually uh, represented him personally. And it was a it was a commercial dispute. Mm -hmm. He had an office building. And long story short, we, we won a, a significant defense verdict for him. Um, I got to put him on the stand. I think I was the last person to ever do that. Really? And uh, just the to be able to say I personally represented one of, in my mind's eye, the greatest trial lawyer in Texas history. Hey, is, you uh, got Racehorse Haynes. You got John O'Quinn. Yeah. I mean, these new names are nasty. Absolutely. They were good friends, as a matter of fact. Wow. Yeah, yeah, really? Absolutely. Yeah, he and Racehorse were good, were good buds. That's and, amazing. Uh, John was something else. That, that's pretty cool, man. Now, now, we talked about some of these particular categories, I guess you can say, that, that you cover. Yes. Explain sure. DRAM Shop. Dram shop. 
Dram shop cases. Yeah, dram oh, shop. Yeah. Okay. Basically, that's when a bar uh, serves, knowingly serves somebody that's uh, exhibiting visible signs of intoxication. So mm -hmm. it's basically when the bar owner or the bar employee is putting profits ahead of common sense. You've got somebody that's so trust the at the bar giggling and laughing too loud. Yeah. That's that's not that's a that's. Not a sign of me being over intoxicated. What's a sign of you it's being a, over intoxicated? Like, you're, you're, if if I'm sitting here and I'm falling asleep, uh huh, and obviously uh -huh. you don't need to be serving me anymore, right? However, if I'm sitting there falling asleep and you still serve me, whose fault is it? Mine or theirs? Hey, I like to have a good time, but but <laughs> there's a point. And y'all just actually brought up the, the 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 critical issue. It's it's very subjective. Mm -hmm. When is someone exhibiting visible signs mm -hmm. of intoxication? Yeah. If I'm laughing too loud, maybe I, maybe the joke was that good. Maybe or they heard the, the David yeah. Buzz radio show. <laughs> or the, or, oh. they, or yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're watching our show. That's why they. Laugh. But um, those are uh, those, those. That's what a dram shop case is in a nutshell. We've uh, been able to stand with some families that had their lives changed as a result of bars uh, over serving patrons. And and uh, y'all may remember the we had a the multi fatality wrong way accidents here in, in uh, bunch of Montgomery, Montgomery County. County. Yeah. Well, there were yeah. two that happened back to back. And we were heavily involved in one of those and, and uh, recovered a, a seven-figure settlement for the really? for, for one of the families, yeah. Wow. Now, yeah. another area you guys practice is product liability. Sure, absolutely. I, when I worked for O'Quinn, I was special. I, you might remember the old Ford Explorers rolling over and yeah. the Firestone tires that were coming Firestone, apart. I remember those, yeah. Believe it or not, that type of stuff still happens. You'll see the recalls all the time, either mm -hmm. airbags that aren't deploying or tires mm -hmm. that are coming apart or cars that are rolling over that shouldn't or seat belts that aren't working. Those are cases where you're going after the manufacturer uh, for either a design or manufacturing defect. Mm -hmm. And what the documents tend to bear out in many of those cases mm -hmm. is that the company made a conscious decision to put profits ahead of safety. And um, and that's when they get to answer to, to guys like me. How about airbag cases? Do you all do those? We sure do. We is, sure do. Is that to, a tough the, one? Um, they're, they're very difficult cases, very time-consuming. You need someone that knows what they're doing. you got to hire experts. It's very cost uh, uh, capital-intensive. Um, because you're going up against very large manufacturers with endless resources. Wow. Uh, but Takata airbags have been in the news a lot. Uh, their airbags have uh, deployed and essentially shot out shrapnel uh, wow. along with the airbag that have uh, killed an, a number of folks uh, wow. unnecessarily. So that's you got something that's supposed to be a safety device ends up being a, a killing machine. Bradley, wow. Lee Law Firm, The Woodlands, Texas. Right. Brad, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, WoodlandsInjuryLawyer.com. Uh, the firm number is 281-419-FIRM, which is 3476. So, uh, again, 281-419-3476 or WoodlandsInjuryLawyer.com. Bradley, WoodlandsInjuryLawyer.com. We're, we're going to have you back on the show very I'm soon. I'm looking forward to it. We awesome. love having uh, him here. He's a friend of the uh, not just the show but the family, and uh, we're going to have him back on here. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to talk about what's coming up next week. Do not go away because we're here with Tressa Ray. <laughs> there you go. Don't change that dial. We will be right back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Mixing genres and generations. All in one station. 91.1 FM, the ball. Could your business use more customers? Could your business use more online traffic? Sponsor with 91.1 The Boss Radio Station and let our multimedia radio station promote your business. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Follow us at KNLY 91.1 FM. Are you great with people? Do you have professional experience? 91.1 The Boss wants to interview you as a sponsorship promoter. Contact us today at 713-370-5051. Woohoo! We're back with the Daily Buzz Radio Show. Welcome back, DailyBuzzRadioShow.com. We're going to real quickly talk about what's coming up. Before we do, Brad, you got a friend of yours had an incident. Yeah, I do. I just want to send my love and prayers to my buddy Graham Dotson. Uh, you're going to get—he's uh, a strong guy. He'll be fine. And uh, to the rest of the Jungle Crew, what's up? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, to my wife and, and kids, Tammy and Sophie, Amar and Brad, love you guys. <laughs> Hey, all right. That's Brad. He, I like the Jungle Crew. Yeah, that's an old bunch of Woodlands boys that you don't want to get on the wrong side of. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, the no. Jungle Crew. I love that. <laughs> to the Lee family, the Jungle Crew, y'all have a great Christmas. <laughs> Tressa Ray, what's coming up next week? Monday, we have Catalina. Yes. 
and she's going to bring a business partner with her. She's a local businesswoman here in the Woodlands, and she's bringing a partner with her that uh, uh, they're going to talk about business. That's going to be a great show. Who else we got next week? We've got um, some people from G Force Animation. G Force. We've got Teak coming in from uh, Pacific Yard House, which is so good. We went there last night and ate. You were it was testing delicious. the products. Make sure we don't. Oh, I've been building. there plenty of times. It's so good. <laughs> um, and then we've got uh, Jay's from Cat Daddies uh, off fourteen eighty eight. Cat Daddies. We've got a lot going on next week. We got a lot going on. We're going to start the uh, celebrity scoop or uh, uh, the celebrity, celebrity buzz. buzz. All that's coming up next week. So y'all have a great weekend. Stay out of the rain. It'll be a great weekend. We will see you Monday at twelve noon on the Daily Buzz Radio Show. DailyBuzzRadioShow dot com. We'll see you then. Thank you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Watch us live in our...